Coach, you got one down, 29 to go. It seemed like that the energy level was, you know, exciting, uh, you know, from the players and from you guys. Just maybe your thoughts on the uh, on the first practice of the year. You know what, the first the first practice is always very energetic. You know, usually you get through the first week with that energy, and then, you know, you have to find a way to, to keep that energy going after the, you know, practice number 20, 21, 22 in that area. But, you know, very happy with the first day. Um, it seemed like, you know, a lot of more fundamental work, you know, layup drills and passing drills and things like that. Is that maybe what your what your plan of attack is early is get those basic elements installed before you get into offensive and defensive sets? Yeah, we'll definitely be doing a lot of um, defensive fundamentals, a lot of passing, ball handling, scoring around the basket. Uh, you know, those things can win you a lot of games. This time of year, do you have like a set schedule of I want to be this point by practice seven, or is it kind of just you know you go as you as as the team allows you to go? Well, you definitely want to you know be in certain spots down the road, but uh, you have to you know take what the team will give you, and and you know de- depending on how fast they progress is where you're going to be. So, um, but there are certain spots where you you know you'd de- like to have. You know your your defense in by a certain point, and and your off- offensive sets by a certain point, or your motions. Um, but you can only go as fast as you can go. One of the big things that stuck out was it was probably two hours in before there was a drill with a three pointer involved. You know, obviously that's a lot different than the last couple of years. Can you just kind of expand on that, and you know maybe just your kind of general philosophy on the offensive end and how the, the practice kind of fit that? Well, we're really gonna try to focus on being a great defensive team. Um, you know, we have to play extremely hard, um, be in great position at all times to try to hold opponents to a low number. Uh, and that's what we're going to focus on for the first, you know, week, two weeks, however long it takes to, to be in great position. Um, we'll do a lot of shooting drills as, as the days come and time permits, but we want to be a, a very tough, hard-nosed defensive team. With four seniors who have a lot of, um, you know, experience coming back, do you kind of rely on them to kind of show? I mean, I know everybody at this point is kind of a newcomer for you, but do you still kind of turn to those seniors a little bit? Yeah, the, the seniors are, are, are definitely leading. Um, we want them, you know, but they're, we want them to lead more by um, example in terms of working hard, working through a complete full practice. Uh, you know, if we have line drills or running drills, you know, we expect them to, to go – a step and a half farther rather than, you know, cutting corners. So that's what we're relying on the seniors for. Been a while since you've been head coach, um, you know, first time at the D1 level. Uh, just, you know, having the whistle again at practice, what did that feel like? You know what, it was it was fun. I mean, it was it was good. Uh, you know, I've had some great bosses throughout the years who have allowed me to do a lot of coaching even as an assistant. So um, from, you know, from my days back in, in junior high coaching to – to high school to college it's it's you're doing the same things and um, you know it's just trying to get the most out of your players and and get the most out of every practice so but it was it was fun running the show again